Comedian Steve Coogan has been given a two-month driving ban after being caught doing 36 miles an hour in a 30-mile-an-hour zone in East Sussex, as he already had nine points on his licence, he was facing a six-month driving ban under the sort of totting-up procedure, but magistrates agreed to a shorter punishment after the actor argued it would stop him filming his new TV series, Alan Partridge, and cause financial hardship to others who were in line to work on the show. Uh, let's speak with Sunil Rupasinger, motoring off, uh, offence barrister at Kent Traffic Law. Sunil, good morning. Good morning to you. So is this special treatment for a famous actor? I don't think so. The rules actually do allow for, even if you've got to 12 points for offences committed within three years of each other, if you can establish that you would suffer from what's termed exceptional hardship, then the magistrates have a discretion either not to disqualify you at all or to disqualify you for a period shorter than six months. So this is not down to a famous face in the dock. This, this happens in other areas too. Absolutely right. So what happened here was he established by evidence on oath, I mean, he ha you have to establish this with evidence on oath in court, that about 15 people who were employed by his production company might struggle to find work if he couldn't film this travelogue series. So it wasn't a special favour to him. It was taking account of the suffering that other people would, would experience. And that's actually mirrored in every day in courts around the land because anybody who would be liable for a six-month disqualification can go to court. And as I say, if they can establish with evidence on oath that exceptional hardship would be caused, then there is a discretion to avoid that disqualification. Mm -hmm. And so in this case, obviously there are headlines screaming that he's been given a special favour. And I know this does tend to happen, doesn't it, whenever a sort of well-known face uh, gets a speeding ticket or let off a parking ticket or whatever, then the line that gets wheeled out is, oh, it's just because they're famous. But actually you're saying there is precedent within law and this happens on a daily basis with other professions as well. Ordinary people who no one's ever heard of, you might need your van for transporting your tools to... You know, you're a drainage engineer, you would lose your job, your wife and kids would be on the street and other harm to other people would suffer. Or you could be an employer and employees would lose their jobs if you lost your job. Okay. Routinely, these rules are ap applied across the board um, without favour. I mean, the only thing Alan Partridge would have had in his favour is his case would have been exceptionally well prepared and presented. Sure. But aside from that, these rules apply across the board to everyone. OK, Sunil, thank you. Sunil Rupasinghe, who is, of course, a motoring barrister regulars with us here on the programme at Kent Traffic Law.